Good morning, it is April 23rd, 8 o'clock, and I'm excited today because I am doing an activity that is being sponsored through the partnership between Home Depot and Discovery Education. It's called um, Lemon Power Batteries. Here's the activity and my Home Depot stuff. I actually have to go out to the car to get the rest of the materials because I set the kits up at home, so let me take care of that right now. Batteries. Uh, because there's like, there's the positive and negative charge and like, well, it, it can be, out. I can be, it can be taken wrong. two ways, I took it the other way. How would life be different if there were no batteries? We'd be dead. It would not be fun. We'd be in the Stone Age. We'd be dead. No, we'd, we'd, be in the stone we'd probably age. have a Stone less, Age? Uh, less Many of the things we have wouldn't, we wouldn't have a we wouldn't, have, have, we wouldn't have many of the things we have today. Oh, so we would not have many of the things that we had today. Like, we wouldn't be on land. That's a good It's true. Can't you fix like, the lighting on that? You miss it? Oh, dude. Oh, no. Okay, wait, wait. Bro, I turned on for the... I So the lemon power battery activity was a hit with my 8A students yesterday. Apparently my B-Day students heard about it. And so they came to class like, are we doing the lab today? I was like, no, we have to do the intro to electric camp first and then we'll do the lab on Thursday. So my 8A students yesterday, they told me that they were excited about it. They had fun. They were able to connect it to what they had learned um, on the previous class lesson. And so let me talk about how I set up the activity in my class and then also go through the documents so you can see what to get out of the free resource. So the activity is found on sciencefirstcentral.com, more specifically in the Make a Corner activity where you'll find this and a bunch of other resources that are for free. Um, this isn't a PDF, so when you open it up, there's an overview, there are the objectives, the materials, which I bought six of everything. The materials are, most of them anyways, um, there are clickable links, which will take you to homedepot.com, so you can see the price and then what you specifically need to get. I bought six of everything, so the bins, everything in here, except the LED lights, because this was the only thing that was not linkable in the document, but I have six lab tables, so I bought six of everything although i probably did not need to buy six of everything because there is more than enough here and my students worked in pairs this is really supposed to be for a group of four so my students worked in pairs and they shared everything so i probably could have bought less materials and just split everything up because i actually forgot to buy one box of the black phosphate nails and so then i took some from the other kits and i placed them in one of one of the kits at the tables so just be aware of that if you're shopping that you perhaps don't need to buy a whole bunch of different materials. You can perhaps maybe scale down a little bit. Um, there's also just some background information trying to get the students to think about using electrical energy and batteries in an eco-friendly way, but then also making sure that they're not throwing their batteries in the trash. Cross-curricular um, connections right here. If you've never done the activity before, it tells you how to set up the boxes, which allowed me to set this up but then also just um, a guide for going through the activities some um, perhaps questions to ask the students which I asked them these questions as pre-lab questions to get them excited about the activity um, before we did the lab and then after that some standards and uh, NGSS and Common Core but then here are the student pages which I uploaded online and the document says that you can do that so mine is secure because we have a we're a 101 campus and so I put it on the canvas site but if your students don't have any prior background in batteries um, there are some activities in the teacher instructions that allow you to do that but then it also scaffolds and walks the students through so they get to pick at least they get to do four test rounds and they get to pick two materials of their choice. So for example, if they want to do a black phosphate nail and a copper coupling, they can say that's choice B, this is choice A, and do that. Um, there are four pages to the student document, which comes with a reflection set of questions at the very end, but also with a diagram to help them set up their lemon-powered battery, which they have to label with a Sharpie and then label like A, and so again, if they use a black phosphate now, then they have to place this in all the A spots. And then whatever they use for B, they place in all the B spots. And then they see if that lights up or not, if their LED lights up or not. 
and um, I had my students do this on a separate sheet of paper since this was uploaded to our Canvas site. Um, so they sketched out a data table and they built that on their own. It also comes with a set of quiz, um, a set of quiz quiz trade cards. I just didn't do this part because I'm going to ask my students these questions later. But if you want to play quiz quiz trade, you can do that. So again, I found everything here. I had more than enough materials to do um, the lab with my students in pairs. They all got four lemons a piece. Again, the LED was the only thing that I had to purchase outside of Home Depot. And then I wish pliers were mentioned because I like it just slipped my mind and think about this. And I had bought alligator clips, but I didn't buy enough for my students to do it in pairs. So I just left the alligator clips in my bag. So when my students were winding the copper wire around some of the items and then they had to do another test, they had to unwind it again and their fingers hurt. Um, it does say like place wire into the boxes. I didn't do, well I did that for one box, but then I said, you know what? I have some wire cutters. I'm gonna measure out already a length. And so I cut a couple pieces, place them here on the table. And I just told students, leave these pieces, but measure out your pieces that you need and cut them and take them back to your table. And so that's what they did. So that made it more easier. I didn't have to sit there and make all these pieces for all, because Home Depot was gracious enough. They gave me a gift card to be able to do the activity with all my classes in pairs. So I didn't wanna have to sit there and cut a whole bunch of copper wire for a bunch of pairs for all five of my pre-AP classes. So that was great. Um, my students had fun and I'm really excited about what um, my B-Day classes will do and to see if they were able to, or if they're able to light up the LED. My first period only had one pair, but my, my second and my fourth period, I had several pairs, so it was fun watching them. If students weren't able to cut on their LED, they went over to another pair and either watched them light it or they saw what they did and they went back to their table. And some of them were very determined to get their LED to light, which they did before they class ended. So I had to actually write them a pass because they had, I made them clean up. Um, also, I wish I would have had like some type of tray because they had to do the activity on the lab tables. So there was a lot of messes. And um, so be prepared if you don't have like a tray or anything like that to make sure you have paper towels on hand to clean up after yourself or have the students clean up after themselves. But yeah, the activity was great. And I just want to say thank you to Home Depot. I actually have a couple students that work for Home Depot. So when I told them that I was being sponsored, they kind of got excited. I was like, yeah, and trying to tell me some stuff about Home Depot. But again, I want to say thank you to the partnership between Home Depot and Discovery Education for sponsoring me and allowing me to be able to do this with my students and purchase the materials to do it with all my classes. My 8 classes had fun and I can't wait to do it on Thursday. Well, that's it. If there was anything about this video that you liked, then make sure to hit that like button, comment down below, and or share the video. If you haven't already done so, make sure to subscribe so that way you can bond with James. And if you're interested in checking out some of my other vlogs, you can do so by clicking on any of the links right here. As always, thanks for watching.